Hello and welcome back again. Uh, in the last episode, we lost another Pokemon to me not paying attention. Uh, I, also, I swear to God, the, the most dangerous enemy we face ever is in my attention span. So I think so. We're in trouble as far as that goes. But I was thinking to myself, yeah, I do that thing where like I save, uh, I save every like. Um, Time I'm about to level up in case a Pokemon starts to evolve and I miss the reaction to me seeing a new Pokemon for the first time. But then I was like, fuck it. If I, like, if I'm gonna do that, if I'm gonna suffer through grinding, I might as well make everyone suffer with me. So, um, yeah, but to be honest, I don't really mind it that much because honestly, I have the most fun, I think, in this game when I'm grinding. But ironically, like, I think the bit I enjoy the most is just rambling and telling nonsensical stories. I don't like the bit where I accidentally kill Pokemon because I'm not paying attention. That bit's not good. <laughs> I don't have much fun there, but um, I also, um, uh, there's a number of things I want to talk about, and it was mainly the fact that um, I've actually had a busy week. Like I said, I, I, last episode I was talking about the bit, but I didn't get a chance to record many episodes this um, this week, so I'm going to try and pull overtime and get uh, a video out per week. This, it, this will not matter in the future, but just apologies to the, the six people who this matters to. But uh, with the reason I was so busy is uh, because I go to uh, I go to university. I go to college in uh, Cork, uh, Cork University. He is doing well for himself. Uh, and so yeah, uh, I go to college in Cork, and uh, I, I've never really spoken about where I live, um, for obvious reasons. I don't want to give away my exact house address. In case someone really hates me for that monkey mistake I made last episode, like swat my house in revenge for it. But um, yeah, uh, so I go to college. The thing is though, I live fairly close to Dublin city centre, which is, for those of you who don't know, is like the complete opposite end of Ireland to Cork. So my commute to college is four hours. Uh, if fortunately, I'm only in once a week for the course I'm doing. I'm doing a master's in museum studies and um, I'm only in once a week uh, on a Monday. Uh, but I commute down to Cork stay in a hostel the night beforehand and then wake up and walk to college the day after. It's not, it's not a good time. It's definitely the most miserable college experience I've had. And I've been in college for quite some time now. Uh, this is my second master's. Under. I'm just loaded. This is the show off period. This is why I started recording again. Because I've earned this. But um, also, by the way, fun fact, Fury Swipes in this game only ever hits for five. Oh, you hit for four. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for showing benevolence. But, um, <coughs> yeah, basically, I'm so sorry. Basically, uh, I have quite the commute to my college. And there is, and another thing is, I'm doing a dissertation at and I'm not going to bore you with what the topic of the dissertation I'm sorry, I'm just reading this really quick. Um, okay, so he's not a special attacker, which sucks, because I think all of his good attacks are, except for tackle, are special attack. But it don't, why have I not switched to terminal? Um, I'll do it here. But, um, yeah, so I've got a massive commute, and the thing is, uh, I'm actually off, uh, Lectures are off now, but I still have a dissertation to do, which means I still have to go down every, um, like, every month or so to meet with my lecturer and be like, hey, what am I doing wrong? It's basically just, I pay, like, and, oh god, the, the amount of, the, Ireland transport sucks! It's like, it costs me, like, three euros to get it to Dublin, one way, and then it costs, what am I doing? And then it costs, um, 35 euro for a student to get a return ticket to Cork. It's like, it's great. Anyway, this is like oh, economics with Ocean 101. This, uh, uh, but yeah, so it sucks. And I basically pay about 50 euro to go down and have someone tell me everything I do wrong with writing. So that sucks. But um, yeah, I went down recently and I, I'm just, I'm curious because I know at least one person that watches me spends a lot of time and I think lives in Cork. I'm not going to say who it is, <laughs> again, for obvious reasons. But I am gonna say that to that person, um, oh my god, to that person, if you are thinking of studying in Cork, I know it's close, but, and this is to everybody really, this is good life advice, but if you're thinking of doing a course, um, make sure you know and have a, a, a student's testimony. Oh my god, it's a Brizzle! I didn't know they were in this game! Oh, I'm gonna murder you! <laughs> you are weak against Chin Young. Um, but yeah, uh, just sorry, I just kind of spread me. But just to anybody who is thinking about studying in college, get a testimony from someone who went there, not someone from the online curriculum. They, I swear to God, they're paid to say nice things about the college. I actually found someone in my course, uh, is someone in the curriculum of my course who had a nice thing to say about it. So I know. Th oh God. <laughs> So I know they're being paid for it. Alright, but <laughs> just, 
Jesus Christ. Was that a crit? Or was that just a really strong attack? I want that Pokemon! I want whatever that was. But you... Uh -huh. Oh. My God. <laughs> it's actually... He might actually... <laughs> Maybe his ways are going to change. Maybe he's grown out of his teen angsty period. And he's going to turn into a beautiful... Nope. <laughs> nope, he turned into a Power Ranger. That's okay. <laughs> what does that remind me of? He looks like... Every sidekick <laughs> in every, like, animal-based TV show. This, again, this is the comic relief character, which fits for this abomination of a character, which I continue to be disappointed in. Uh, Kinet Monk. Wait. <laughs> Kinet Monk? Is that an electric type? Hold on. Because, uh... Oh, it's actually... I kind of like... <laughs> it's like... It's like when you squint your eyes at something and you say, oh, it doesn't look too bad. It's like when your child does like a macaroni dragon. It's like, you squint your eyes, it looks a bit like a dragon. This is like, it's blurry, like pixelated form and this is really cute. <laughs> I really like this. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, is it an electric type? That is the important question. Where is the typing? How do you play this game? What type are you? <laughs> I am so, oh, he is, he's an electric type. Hooray, he's useful now. Oh, it's a good day. But, um, uh, <laughs> sorry, I, I don't know. I'm kind of proud of him. It's kind of weird to say, but, um, he's grown up. But yeah, anyway, back to my story. Not to detract from this. is Chin Myung's big day. He went from being a small failure to a slightly bigger failure. But yeah, just, I do want to say that if anyone feels like, um, uh, going to college because it's close, look into it a bit more because I've heard so many horror stories. Uh, and George, George will testify to this too, that going to a college that, um, uh, that just isn't for you. Maybe the people aren't great. Maybe the student union. By the way, I just, side note, but um, this person, I've gone back and forth because I was grinding a bit off camera uh, just to get them up close to level. Um, but this person, this grandmother, I go to heal them a lot and they've said this, they say the same thing every time. And I realize that that's a really good design decision because she is a grandmother. So they can just play off her, um, the fact that this NPC only has about four lines of dialogue with the fact that, oh, she's old. <laughs> she's cute and adorable and look how cute and forgetful she is. But, um, basically, uh, I just want to say, because this is important, I need to finish this, um, this train of thought. But basically, anybody who feels like doing a course do your research because uh, even if it does like even if you want to be like an archaeologist and you want to go into to be like a, a, a rock specialist or an archaeologist and there's only one course in your country that does it if you get a bad course if you get a bad um if you get a bad university it can really crush your passion i fortunately didn't have that it was the opposite for me i didn't know what i wanted to be until i took a single module in something and found that i was really good at it but oh my god, the difference it makes. Because um, now, all I'm thinking to myself is I, I, I never want to touch this again. Uh, the commute doesn't help. The, the six hour commute, the six hour two way commute doesn't help me. Uh, yeah, sorry, eight hour two way commute doesn't help me. But um, I, I just, I just, it's a cautionary tale because every college person, every, like, the college life is important. Maybe you're an, an enigmatic, you know, extrovert who wants to go out every night. Be somewhere where you can do that. Where there's a nightclub place. Don't go to like a countryside university. If they exist. <laughs> or maybe you're an introvert. And uh, like I was when I was in Maynooth. And um, oh fuck, I shouldn't have given that away. <laughs> yeah, I, I, so my first college. I went, no, it's not we're giving away that I went to college in Maynooth. The first college I went to was Maynooth University. Which was, I think it was okay. George hated it. George and I went to the university. And she, oh my god, she could not stand it. There. By the way, these are Irish universities. So this will not matter to about 90... I don't even want to work out that fraction of the people who don't care about Irish universities. But it just, it, it, to make a long story short, it's basically Maynooth was a very um, uh, party-based university. Which is ironic because uh, before the 1800s, Maynooth used to be a priest college. <laughs> And the nightclub was then renamed to being called Cathedral because religion doesn't exist in Ireland anymore. <laughs> so that always kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Like, I get that, like, it's not really a priest college. It's an everything college now. But it just kind of felt like a bit salt in the wound that these priests were probably like, oh, okay, yeah, we'll let people in. Probably very begrudgingly let people in to study. Um, 
or their subjects and change the tradition. And then they fucking... They, they repay that in kind by basically having theology... I think about three theology students were there in the, in the three... Yeah, in the three years I was there, there were three theology students that studied it. Um, but it's not a popular course. But, um, and then we repaid it by uh, changing the nightclub to be called Cathedral. Not as holy as it used to be. <laughs> we're a bit more sacrilegious than the college used to be. But, um, yeah, basically, just make sure that the college that you want to do is... Um... Oh, by the way, I'm just fucking stalling because I don't want to fight that person. <laughs> that trainer, because that's the next thing I'm doing. I'm getting bored, and I'll tell you one thing, I'm fighting her. Um, uh, but, yeah, basically, uh, for the last time... Know what you want out of college, and know what you want out of your future, and find a university that tailors to both of those things, because honestly, university is the most important part of your life. I'm not going to say it's the best time of your life, because people said that to me about secondary school. It's not! Secondary school is terrible, and the most heartbreaking thing is to tell someone who hates co like secondary school, at uh, high school, some, in some places high school, some secondary school, but to tell like a struggling secondary school child that this is- get out of here. Fuck it. Shut up, child! <laughs> I'm trying to be inspiring, you stupid cunt. Um, but don't let anyone tell you that your best years are happening, because honestly they're not. Your best years are what you make of them. For some people it's in college, and for some people it's in secondary school. It really just comes down to the type of person you are, and to the type of person you want to be. And I'm not fighting this monkey. Fuck this monkey. But, um, just don't let... Don't let future, uh, don't let other people's experiences tell you, because maybe you won't like college. And also, maybe college isn't for you. And that's okay too, and that's something that people do not tell you, because honestly, I've been studying for six years. I've been in college longer than I've been in secondary school. Also fuck. But, um, uh, this is fine. We just do a cheeky swap to Poison McGee, and, uh, of all my time in college, I have very little actual life experience. I don't know how the world works. I'm trying to make a YouTube channel, for God's sake. Look at me. I am a, I'm the worst person to be giving life advice. Drop out of school, become a you- No, don't. Do not drop out of school to become a YouTuber. Don't even joke about that. That's the worst thing you can do. I mean, well, no. If you're gonna- I mean, just never think YouTube is your- your- <laughs> the be all end all for the things you're planning on doing with your life. Um, for some people it is, and some people are charismatic. But you can use, if you are like more charismatic than you are, um, I don't know, uh, academic, use that in other ways. Become like, I don't know, work your way up in a small business place. I know uh, uh, George's mom did that. She like, um, she left uh, school when she was like 16. She's also one of the smartest people I know. So like, um, dropping out of school, there's nothing to be ashamed of with that if you have a reason for doing it. Um, just know what you're good at and know how to capitalize on that. There's a difference between intelligence and wit. And even if you're the biggest idiot ever, you can still be smart enough to know how to capitalize on the things you're good at. Uh, for me, it just so happened to be studying. I was really good at knowing and memorizing things that I liked, and so I went on to do history. Um, and I, it was just what I was good at. But, oh god, that was a fuck. God, I hyped her up. <laughs> I've been staring at this person for like an hour, and I was like, oh, she's gonna kill me. She's gonna murder Chin Yuk. Um, but, but no, she fucking went down, died immediately. Can't use that here. I meant to swap you. Um... But yeah, basically, uh, but basically, just, um, I don't know, know what you can do in life. Because honestly, there are, there are three things that you can do. There are, go into school and study and be academic and try to go somewhere with that. And honestly, no joke, that's the riskiest thing to do. If you would have told me, like, if you, honestly, I am in more trouble finding a, like, and I'm really good at what I do. I don't want to, like... Like, I, I don't, I know it sounds terrible, but like, I went into what I do because I like it and I'm good at it. I love history and it's a massive passion of mine. But at the same, woo! But at the same time, um, if I had gone into like, a, a retail job when I was younger, I would be in a much better financial situation than I am. But I'd also be a lot less developed and I'd be a lot less sure of myself and confident in the fact that I was actually good at a thing. Uh, and again, confidence is a massive part as to what, um, what you should do is, like, if you're confident now, fantastic, play the field, be charismatic, and go into things like that. But honestly, even going into a retail job would have been more sensible than going in to do a degree in history. I wanted to be a lawyer when I was younger. No joke, here's a fun little insight into it. Um, this is a very personal episode, I'm sorry. But, um, when I was younger, <clears throat> I wanted to go into law. 
But my mother straight up was just like, you are not able, because she went into law. Uh, her, my grandfather and my mother were both lawyers and my mother then went on to be a therapist, um, a psychologist rather, sorry. And um, where did the music go? Come back. It's, <laughs> this gets too, it gets too real when the music goes away. But, um, oh God, I'm scared now. But basically, um, when I ended up going to, um, to be going to my mom, be, oh, it's a lot of <laughs> I actually saw one of these when I was grinding, but um, yeah, they're in this game. This is cute. I love low tides. Lumbre are like, also, run up. No, you are a part grass type, so I can burn you. I can set you on fire. Um, don't use, use absorb. <laughs> but um, I went to her and I was like, yeah, I want to be a lawyer. And she was like, you're not able for it. It is a lot of paperwork and a lot of study and a lot of work that I just don't think you were able for. And maybe she was right. I don't know. But... I suppose it kind of, that's something that no one should have to hear, is their mother being like, I don't think you're good enough for that. But I don't know, now I, I, I think I'm pretty doing alright for myself, you know? And that's the other thing I want to talk about. The last, uh, the last emotional life advice I'll be giving in this episode is that if someone tells you that they don't think you're good enough for something, don't ever listen to that. That is so broad. They don't, no, maybe, maybe they don't phrase it right. Maybe they mean you're not, um academic enough to go into history. Maybe you're not, well, it'd be terrible to say this, but maybe you're not charismatic enough to go into um, to business or something like that. It does not mean that you are not capable of something because every single human being has a potential to be amazing, to be perfect and great. What the hell is this house? But no, I'm finishing this because honestly, every single human being is capable of doing amazing things with their life. <clears throat> it's just a matter of finding what you're good at and finding finding out what the world wants for you. And uh, honestly, and I'm not just saying that because I was a failure as well. Um, not that you are a failure, but I thought I was. My mother thought I was, but um, I found what I was good at and it made such a massive difference. And it just came down to knowing what I was good at and knowing how to capitalize on that. But anyway, <laughs> after this emotional uh, roller coaster of an episode, I think I'm probably going to call it here, and I'm sorry that this got a bit rambly, but we got a bunch of grinding done, and we walked about 20 steps to the right, but uh, honestly, I kind of hope this helped someone, because it makes, it makes a difference to know that you can do something, and honestly, to give just one last example before I go, is the three people I have working with me at the moment are not working with me, but who are interacting with me are Lady Nightlight, uh, Get in the Box, uh, Savvy, um, and uh, Sleepy Slow Bro. And all of ye have been so kind and supportive in doing the things that you all know to help me. Uh, Sleepy Slow Bro has been so helpful with giving positive like advice because he's a good YouTuber. He really knows his stuff and he's given so much helpful advice. Um, Lady Nightlight has uh, done her amazing artwork to get this thumbnail and has supported me so much. And Savvy uh, has used her amazing charisma to uh, to get a number of new subscribers to this channel and all of ye, I do not know if I would still be doing this channel without ye and your individual talents. So everybody has something they're amazing at. It's just a matter of knowing what it is and um, I hope you do know. But anyway, yeah, thank you so much and I'm so sorry for this raveling nonsense but I hope that this has helped even a little bit. So thank you all very, very much for watching and I will see you again. <laughs>